Hi everybody. Uh, this is the video demo of the chemical reactions for the types of reactions lab. I'm going to do my best to not talk too much during the videos, but I wanted to make sure that we are thinking about some of the extra things we can think about as we start to think about things we're going to be doing in week seven. Here is our reaction of uh, sodium carbonate with hydrochloric acid. And you can see the sodium carbonate to powder, and as we add the acid, we'll get a relatively violent reaction. This reaction will bubble and fizz, and that's a producing some gas. We could theoretically analyze that gas by collecting it, but we're not doing that at this point. We're just making observations. Uh, a couple of the things to note are the fact that there's powder left. Now, we could say that there's, that there's just some solid in the reaction, but really what's going on here is there's unreacted sodium carbonate. So if we add additional acid, we'll see additional reaction up until the point that we have more acid than we have sodium carbonate on the atomic level for the reaction. Notice in the chemical reactions we write down for this, there's nothing to tell us about the rate of reaction or about the extent of reaction. Our second reaction is zinc metal with hydrochloric acid. This one's a little bit difficult to see on the video because the reaction is relatively slow. It turns out that the zinc metal we're using has been sitting out for a little bit. There's a little zinc oxide on the, outs on the uh, outside of the metal pieces. Um, so it takes a little bit of time for the reaction to get going. But you can see the formation of some bubbles. I put in a little bit of a bigger piece there. And again, we could try to collect this gas to analyze it to figure out if we're creating enough heat to boil the water whether we're reacting with the hydrochloric acid to form chlorine gas or for forming hydrogen gas. Um, we should also be able to predict our products just from the information we have in chemistry already. This reaction is a little bit interesting because the products don't predict gas production. And unfortunately, because you're not doing this reaction in person, you can't feel the test tube to feel how hot it's actually getting. Uh, there's enough heat being generated in the calcium hydroxide acid reaction that is actually boiling the water to some degree.
after this reaction is complete, we have a little bit of uncombusted magnesium metal left, but most of the magnesium metal has become this brittle powder that uh, is a fine white powder. Uh, that's our product. After waiting a little bit of time to allow the uh, compound to separate out, you can see from the shaking there's a little bit of powder clinging to the glass, and there's just from gravity there's a separation from the solid that's heavier and the slight particulates left in solution. Uh, we have to remember that we're making a solid on the atomic scale.